Welcome to Bishop Legal News, where we review appellate and Supreme Court decisions that may affect the outcome of your own case. In the September 2011 case of Anderson v. Axo Noble Coatings, Incorporated, the Washington Supreme Court considered the standard for admissibility of an expert opinion on causation of injury. Julie Anderson worked for Axo Noble Coatings, Incorporated, a paint manufacturer from 1998 to 2004. In 2000, Ms. Anderson gave birth to a son named Dalton, who suffered from multiple medical abnormalities. Dalton's doctor concluded that these abnormalities were likely caused by exposure to solvents in utero while Ms. Anderson was working at AXO. Among other claims, Ms. Anderson sued AXO for negligently permitting her exposure to harmful chemicals in the workplace. This negligence claim was supported by the opinions of several doctors who stated that Dalton's injuries were probably caused by such exposure. The trial court granted AXO's motions to exclude most of Ms. Anderson's medical evidence on causation and then dismissed the claim outright due to the lack of admissible evidence of causation. On review, the Washington Supreme Court reversed this ruling and sent the case back for trial on the negligence claim. The Supreme Court discussed the Fry standard for admissibility of expert testimony under which the science underlying the evidence and methods used by the expert must be, open quote, generally accepted in the scientific community, close quote, to be admissible. In this case, AXO broke down the medical opinions offered by Ms. Anderson into little pieces to challenge each piece based on the Fry standard. For example, AXO argued that the opinion of a particular chemical causing a particular birth defect was not, again, open quote, generally accepted in the scientific community, close quote, the Fry standard. However, the Supreme Court made it clear that this was not a proper application of the Fry rule, which it said is limited to testing novel scientific theories because there is nothing novel about the idea that exposure to solvents can cause birth defects, the doctors should have been allowed to state their opinions as to causation in this particular case based upon their experience and training. It was error to exclude their testimony and therefore it was error to dismiss Ms. Anderson's negligence claim. This case is important because the Supreme Court overruled several lower court decisions that were interpreting the Fry rule too strictly. Expert testimony is relied on in many cases and it is vital that the trial courts not exclude expert testimony that should be admitted. Legal news happens fast and can quickly affect the outcome of pending cases. Each case is unique, so this case does not necessarily indicate the outcome of your case. Feel free to check back here for future editions of Legal News. I'm Raymond Bishop for Bishop Legal.